Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. There's no denying, there's something really lovely about writing with a gold nib, um, be it something like, you know, the Pilot Custom 823 here, or, a, you know, a Parker Jewel Fold, or any of the amazing pens that come with beautiful gold nibs. But I'm going to put in a, in, in a case today for the steel nibs of the world. Um, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show just a few of my favourite steel nibs from my pen collection. I'm not fussy when it comes to gold or steel. I am all about how it feels on the page. I don't mind a slightly more rigid nib as a left-handed writer. Sometimes that's actually more pleasant. Um, and, you know, as long as it writes smoothly and has good flow and is consistent, I am going to get whatever pen, regardless of whether it's steel, gold, titanium, palladium, whatever the case may be. And so today, I'm going to show you some of my favourites. I'm going to start with a highly commended. And that nib comes on this pen, which is the Parsons Essential from Italics. This was sold by uh, Mr. Pen in the UK, who used to do uh, custom grinds uh, on pens. So he'd get like a standard steel nib uh, and would grind them into a multitude of different styles of grind. And uh, this particular one that I have here is a right-footed oblique medium nib. Uh, it's a slightly stubby nib. It is quite broad, really. Uh, and when it's in a left-handed writer, it, the shape is more broad than it is like an italic. Um, but that right-footed nature of the nib, as you can see, the, the left tine is cut higher than the right tine and goes down on that angle. Um, that allows me as a left-handed writer to, if I turn the nib slightly, uh, to still get sort of really good equal sort of purchase uh, on the page. Um, and it makes for a very smooth writing experience. And uh, Peter over there did an amazing job grinding these nibs. This is a beautifully smooth nib um, and it writes like a dream. And so uh, let's see it in action. So I just have some Clairefontaine 90 gram paper here, which I'll write with each of the pens that I show today. So this is the highly commended, and I've got three more to show you. Uh, this is the Italics, Parsons Essential, with a right foot, medium oblique. nib. It is steel uh, from Mr. Pen. The ink I'm using here is Lamy Crystal Azurite, which is a beautiful sort of sapphire blue purple ink. As you can see, nice wet flow, smooth, and does give you a little bit of line variation um, you know, on the right angle. Beautiful smooth nib. As I said, this is my um, highly commended. Just a lovely nib on a really affordable uh, pen and a really lovely pen to write with. Next on the list is this pen. This is the Fine Writing International Brass third generation pen. Um, I have this inked up a lot. As you can see, it's running quite low on ink now. Um, and it's just a really lovely standard Yovo nib. It's just a medium. Um, it's been laser engraved there with the uh, Fine Writing International logo. And the reason why I love this nib is just that it's a really solid everyday writer. It's not too wet. It is consistent. Yovo nibs in general, and, you know, Yovo nibs appear a lot in a lot of lists. Um, Yovo nibs are widely available. You can get them from a multitude of different sort of retailers who brand them with their own, you know, logo and all those sorts of things. They can be bought on pens or individually. They're not too expensive and they're a standard number six size in this respect. So this could be swapped out with uh, a range of different uh, Yovo nibs. Um, and But I really always loved this nib from the moment I first inked it and started writing with it, this particular one, for a, a pretty standard Yovo nib. It does a great job. So let's see it writing now. So 
So as I said, this is the Fine Writing International. This pen is the third generation brass with a steel medium nib. The ink in this is Diamine O'Donnell. Oh, I think that's how it's spelled. Anyway, you know, if you know the ink, you know. Um, beautiful sort of tealy coloured ink. Once again, lovely, smooth, wet writer with excellent flow. Um, none of these nibs have been tuned by me. I should also say that. Like, I have just let them be as they are, as they've come out. And I've had a number of these pens for a couple of years. So just beautiful, consistent, great writing pens. In second place on this list is the most affordable pen of the list. It is the Faber-Castell Loom. Now, Faber-Castell steel nibs are widely regarded as some of the best on the market. And what's amazing is, is that this pen uh, is on probably one of the more entry-level pens from Faber-Castell, and yet it's the same nib that comes on pens that are three, four times its price. They are beautiful steel nibs. Um, you know, fairly plain in terms of design, just a simple sort of dimpled uh, pattern there. This is, once again, a medium. This is the top three on this list are uh, out of my collection. They are that, That's my personal preference. And these are my personal three favorite steel nibs in my collection. Um, it doesn't necessarily, I should say, it doesn't necessarily mean these are the, my favorite pens with steel nibs. I'm talking specifically about the nibs and how they feel and how they write. What makes these nibs so great is, once again, the consistency. I have a number of looms and, they, and you know, the emotion and the basic and, um, you know, a number of beautiful Faber-Castell pens with this particular nib, and they all write beautifully. So let's see it in action now. So the number two pen on this list is the Faber-Castell Loom. With a steel medium. And uh, the ink in this is detrimentous. Giuseppe Verdi. I should say the inks I've put in these pens are inks that I just love in these pens. I have partnered them with inks that uh, I really enjoy in these particular pens. As you can see, once again, it's pretty wet. And this is a, a wetter ink as well, um, but this pen is just beautiful and smooth and has really great flow. It is quite a broad medium. You can see it is slightly broader than the uh, the Yovo nib there on the Fine Writing International pen, but it's just a beautiful nib to write with. It is just generous and, um, yeah, just a real joy to write with. Always feels great on the page and um, in a really affordable pen. Uh, my parents got me this pen years ago just uh, as a birthday, part of a birthday present, I think, and uh, I was so impressed and I just, I really love it. And that nib is just absolutely beautiful. I don't think you can do a video about steel nibs without mentioning this brand. And what I'm going to say is that this is across the board with a number of pens from their range. But this particular one has always stood out for me. The brand is Diplomat and the pen I'm showing today is the Aero. This is what the uh, original version of the Aero, like so it's got the original capping mechanism and all of those sorts of things. Um, but the nib made by Yovo, but clearly Diplomat take great care with their nibs. Diplomat is a German company who uh, became really famous for ballpoint pens primarily, but their fountain pens are just amazing. The Excellence A2, I've got an Excellence um, B, which is one of my favorite travel pens. You know, put it, you know, it's super reliable, works well with a lot of ink. Um, and, but this Aero, like firstly, I love the design of the Aero. It is an absolute, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful pen. Uh, and that orange is just ridiculous. Um, 
And what I've always loved about this nib is, once again, that reliability, how smooth it is, how generous it is. Um, an ink I've partnered with this a lot is Aurora Black because it just makes that ink and that pen combination just sing. I put an orange ink in it today, uh, Monteverde Mandarin Orange, but let's see the pen actually writing. So this is the number one pen on today's uh, steel nib list. Um, and this list would change week to week, month to month. Today, when I decided to film this video, or over this last week, I've been planning it, this is how uh, the rankings sort of came out when I was looking at my pen collection. So the Diplomat, Aero, with a steel, medium nib. It's made by Yovo, as I said. The ink in this is Monteverde, uh, Mandarin Orange. Generous nib, smooth, wet. A little bit of feedback. You could probably hear that more than say even the Faber Castell Loom, um, but just such a glorious nib to write with. Uh, it's is it. It's just always been a bit of a favourite, and uh, yeah, takes my number one place on today's uh, favourite steel nibs in my collection. So, I hope this video was interesting. I hope uh, you. You know, if you're on the fence about whether gold or steel is, you know, the best option, I hope you um, can take steel nibs, uh, you know, seriously and uh, understand that these are, you know, not to be sort of just sort of tossed aside because gold is better. I think it really depends on the on the individual nib and the individual pen. I've used gold nibs that I didn't enjoy half as much as some of these um, steel nibs and vice versa, you know, lots of gold nibs that are just beautiful and some steel nibs that are rubbish. So it is, it is pen to pen. You're not gonna necessarily just have, you know, or brand to brand. Like some brands do take, like Diplomat, do take a lot of care uh, with their their nibs and how they, um, how they write and how they're tuned and all of that. And I think that uh, pays massive dividends when you've got a pen like the Aero, uh, which is not a not an inexpensive pen and probably at the highest, at the top of the price point for what most people are willing to pay for um, a steel nib, but you are getting a beautiful writing pen that uh, just sings on the page. So uh, don't just throw, you know, toss steel nibs aside. They are great writers, reliable and, uh, you know, in terms of affordability, sometimes you can get something like the Loom here that just, you know, outdoes a lot of its competition. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, if you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, get in touch with me via email or any of the social media platforms that I've listed below. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Is at the underscore offstage underscore me. So check me out over there. Um, if you've got where you'd like to support the channel, uh, by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review. Um, I would love to hear from you. This channel is, you know, primarily funded by uh, myself and I want to keep interesting content coming up for you. So if you would like to support the channel, if, uh, you know, let's get in touch because uh, I would certainly welcome your support. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.